you have a, a new app or an app that's out that we should talk about? Yeah, I got a new app. Um, app's called Scratch Vision. Uh, Scratch Vision is, is uh, I have a TV network online. And it's, uh, it's like Facebook, but so imagine Facebook with a TV, TV screen in a chat room. And uh, it's a closed secure network of thousands of DJs, MCs, producers, and people that just love the culture without the bullshit of Facebook, you know, the arguing and debating and all right, that right, stuff. Right. And we do live shows, so, you, you know, so instead of just listening, you know, listening to somebody, you know, you can watch us live. It's, it's completely interactive. And I launched it in right. 2009. I lost Scratch Vision, so, so you know, I just have um, the DJs that people want to see. Like I have Jack, Jazzy Jeff, uh, DJ Cash Money, DJ Qbert, um, just all the world's greatest DJs. Grandmaster Flash, The Legends, Red Alert, Grand Wizard Theodore, and um, you know, and it gives the younger kids the access to the knowledge that TV and radio stop giving them. And um, you know, and. As technology grew, then I wanted to grow with the technology. And uh, so, so for example, if I'm on live at eight o'clock, and you and you're in Africa, trying to watch your time, your, your time difference is completely different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But and they stay and watch. You know what I'm saying? So it could be like in Japan. In Japan, it's like eight in the morning, seven in the morning, and they're watching. So what I wanted to do is uh, create an app. So when you might not be home when we're when we're live. You might be at work or you might be traveling or you know, so what I wanted to do is create an app where when we go live you can watch the show streaming live on the app. Hmm. So came up with the Scratch Vision app and um, and of course there's mixes on there, podcasts. Uh, I put some of the shows up there, videos and all of that and just everything else that the website has it has on the app right on the mobile joint, so it's dope. Okay, and then uh, since you did bring up uh, Jazz Jeff, I'd, uh, I want to get your insight as far as Philadelphia DJs because yeah, Jazzy Jeff, Cash Money, Code Money, Tap Money. So why do you think that era there were so many like incredible DJs coming out of Philly when Philly wasn't obviously as big as New York at the time, but it still has some of the premier DJs. Like what, from either knowing them or talking to them or remembering that stuff, what made them stand out or made them that way of DJs from Philly so noteworthy? Um, I think I think it, it was because they're right there, it's right? Like Philly is right there mm -hmm. from New York, you know what I mean? And um, you know, they didn't have, they didn't have great MCs. They didn't have great MCs, but their DJs were incredible. But but honestly, like, there were incredible DJs all over the country. It was just Philly. Philly was right there, so Philly got you know got the the uh, what's the correct correct word? Philly got the uh, got the shine mm -hmm. that all of the other DJ. Because it's like, for example, um, there was a DJ out here, Joe Cooley, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, DJ Aladdin, Aladdin was even before this. Before Aladdin, it was like even before Aladdin, like um, uh, Tone Loke's DJ M Walk. M Walk, who this dude was insane. Yeah, he was a monster. Insane, and um, it was just a, a pocket of, of DJs around the country. But, you know, but Philly, like Philly, was like it was Jeff and, and Cash really. Like it was Jeff and Cash were. were the top tier mm -hmm. out there. Everybody else is just doing what Jeff and Cash did, and no disrespect to anybody, but um, but Jeff and Cash were the, were the top tier, and then they had Lightning, Lightning Rich, rest in peace. Those are the three incredible DJs out of Philly, and um, and then the crazy thing it was like, my main thing was like, yo, all right, there's a lot, there's dope DJs in Philly, but we we do that shit too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. And that was one of the main reasons I wanted to get in the seminar because I'm like, yo, man, I y'all keep talking about Philly, Philly. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from New York. You know what I mean? Like, I can do that shit. And mm -hmm. and you know, like my people around my way, they knew what I can do. But of course, the the world didn't know. You know what right. I'm saying? And then once they got a chance to see it, it was like, oh shit! Like, yo, New York do have dope DJs like how the Philly DJs are. And um, and once I got to meet them dudes, like we've been brothers from from that point. From that point on, but 
that impact that that Philly had with with the DJ scene was 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 incredible, and I, you can't deny it. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of other DJs too. Like um, uh, it was a DJ in Brooklyn named Professor Paul and Hitman Howie T. Right. DJ Barry B. Dougie Fresh DJ. Insane, insane. But there was there was a few man, and uh, there was a few. But Philly definitely. Philly is a DJ town. Like 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 uh. They're like the uh, a blue collar DJ town. You know what I mean? Like the DJs was. It was like like Philly. Like cats wanted the DJ more than MC out there. So that's why the DJing culture down there is so big and so dominant down there. Like in New York, people wanted the MC <laughs> right. and get that money. Them dudes down there in Philly, they wanted the DJ. So the DJs is monsters out of Philly. Yeah. I just always, because uh, I'm from Maryland, and that, that was always amazing to me, just hearing all the different things that they had going on there. Like, because of course... And Cosmic Cav, too. Cosmic Cav in Philly. Yeah. Because you had... Uh, and then on the radio, Lady B, of course, being a mm -hmm. pioneer. Mm -hmm. But like, just with Schooly D and Steady B coming out and everything, and just having, of course, there's a lot of, especially Schooly has so much scratching on his records all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. That really was just eye-opening to me that there was so much of that going on from Philly. But there it is. All right, man, we appreciate you coming through, DJ Scratch. Thank you. Pleasure, man. I'm Soren Baker, Unique Access, DJ Scratch. Man.